Welcome back guys to another episode in my Sprinter Van Conversion build along. Um, so we went away uh, midweek um, and I'm quite delighted to tell you that since the new layout there were no problems. Um, the wife, who is also the boss, absolutely loves the new layout. She said there's more space. We didn't have the little one with us, but she can already see ourselves having a much better um, quality of holiday with it the way it is. So I will take that as a total success. Now, I found myself outside doing the washing up using the bullfinch shower, um, just as I promised I would. I also found that I felt like I ran out of hot water very, very quickly. Um, I then looked into it. I thought the True Macombi 4E held 20 liters of hot water. It doesn't, it holds 10 liters. So it has a capacity of 10 liters. Now this is 10 liters at 60 degrees if you apply the hot setting and 10 liters, um, the same 10 liters, but at 62 degrees if you apply the boost setting. So if ever someone was gonna have a shower, maybe hit that boost button, give you the optimum chance of having a decent shower. I'm gonna run a test today. Um, it's not necessarily about pressures because everyone's got different water pressures, um, that kind of thing. It's not necessarily about how quick it heats up and things like that because there's so many different settings on the Truma boiler. Um, you can have gas, um, you can mix the gas with electric, you can have electric on its own. Um, there's even two types of electric setting depending on whether or not you have a powerful electric supply. Um, so it's not necessarily about that. So at the moment, I am waiting for it to heat up before I do this test. It's not even about how many liters, even though I will measure that just for curiosity, it's not even about how many liters um, are achieved with a single shower. It's about the time, the amount of time that you have in your shower before it starts to run cold because that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, it matters how long you can shower for. So, you know, if the wife is actually washing her hair in there, for example, is it gonna run cold halfway through? Um, so that's what we're gonna to measure today. Today is a nothing day, it's 13 degrees, it's not hot, it's not cold. So the incoming water main, I'm gonna call it, on the cold side is 16 degrees. If it was any of the other extremes, if it was 20 degrees, 25 degrees, because you are in a really, really hot country and your water tank is underneath and it's actually being heated up by the heat of the atmosphere, that kind of thing, your hot water will last longer because you haven't got such a cold water, water main, I keep calling it, going in on the other side, um, it will increase the, the span of a decent shower. On the flip side, if it is three degrees and your tank is outside, and that water in that tank is basically freezing, when that hits your hot water, it's gonna use it up straight away. Um, it's gonna use all of that water to try and give you like a 38 degree shower, which is the national kind of guideline. So today I'm gonna to see on a normal day how long a shower you can have using a Truma Combi 4E. Welcome YouTube to my shower. Right, so, first things first, I have um, originally installed what is widely known as a douche sprayer. Um, now the reason for that is I like the fact that it was operated by a trigger, so you're not using it when you don't necessarily need to, you can go blast, blast, blast. Um, also, it's intended application, it's good for just a little clean, um, of certain areas um, as opposed to having a whole shower and I've got to say mainly we find ourselves giving the toilet an extra zip zap if we've used it um, ready for the next person um, because unless you play trapdoor roulette you can sometimes give the impression that you've been for a number two if that makes sense so something like this is very directional zap 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 um, keeps it lovely and clean. Now, 
This, uh, I put my shower on full. Uh, I've set it to 38 degrees because that's thermostatic. Um, this is very, very powerful. It, it offers you a very, very powerful shower. My theory is it's going to use the water up pretty quick. So let's put it to test. We've boosted the water, so that's now at 62 degrees. It's at its optimum temperature, and um, the best temperature I can offer it. Let's see how long it lasts. Um, this is a test of time, but I'm also seeing how many liters it actually equates to, just for, just for curiosity, really. Um, just seeing 10 liters, what that equates to when you're adding water to it, cold water to create 38, 39 degrees, that kind of thing. Um, as soon as I can feel that this is starting to run cold, because at the end of the day, that's what's going to tell you is when you're using it, you're soon going to start to think, oh, that's run cold. So here we go. Um, it took me a couple of seconds to reach and hit the stop button. One minute and 47 offers you a shower of one minute and 47. Now, that shower head isn't the best shower head. Um, I've got an alternate one now that I'm gonna try. Um, my pump, apparently, according to the data tag, is capable of giving 10.8 liters per minute. And that's as good as a water main almost. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that shower head is allowing that pump to use pretty much all of that instantly. So. It's created about eight, 10, 12, 13 liters. 13 liters, I filled that bucket up before I started to feel the temperature difference. One minute 44, that doesn't really offer too much of a shower. So uh, that was full blast, by the way, in this little room, I think that would be uncomfortable. You've always got the option of turning the pressure down on the actual shower valve so if it was half the pressure let's say it might even last twice as long but i'm going to play with the same scenario with one of these little badgers um I, I see these a lot in people's houses when they're trying to increase the pressure usually of an electric shower um, manufacturer says, says you should only ever use their shower heads because they're designed for their unit etc because they can create back pressure and if you fit one of these to an electric shower you instantly void your warranty getting off piste so now it takes nothing at all to change um, a shower head um, so it wouldn't even bother me much if we left this one on for pretty much all of our travels um because this doesn't look too pretty mainly as well and maybe the rat leather from driving am i going to hear that don't know um but leave this one on for as said purposes before cleaning that and cleaning other stuff and then when it comes to shower time like i said the wife will always say is all right i have a shower four seconds and you've got the shower head on. Um, that doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, there is no trigger function on this one. Um, so as soon as I turn it on, it's gonna be go time. So let's go. In fact, that shower head, while it, um, while it had a much nicer shower pattern on it, uh, like the stream of jet, created the same. Um, while that does say 158, uh, I promise you, because I had two hands and I couldn't just let go of it, it was about one minute 48, in fact, uh, that I noticed a temperature change. What I will say, if you're gonna use it at full bore, that has not made a difference whatsoever. One minute and 50 seconds. Part three, new shower head. I'm gonna dial the pressure down a little bit um, to see if we can increase the longevity of our shower. Um, I'm gonna be somewhere in the middle. Decent shower, not too powerful, not ridiculously rubbish. See how we get on. Much improved. 
give or take the couple of seconds it takes me to actually turn that off and turn this off. Five minutes, 16. So even if that was five minutes, five straight minutes, um, the jet was a lot better proportionately, enough to get wet um, without making a right mess um, and being too in your face. And what you gotta remember, I suppose, is when you're having a quick shower in a camper van, it's more, it's not like when you do it at home, it's more of a, you get yourself wet, you lather yourself up, you rinse yourself down. Um, you wouldn't necessarily leave it running while you're, while you're um, applying your, your soaps and your bubbles and things like that. So yes, it was a little bit of user error. Uh, I think I just went straight away and filled up a bucket full on max and it ran out soon. 10, 10 litres doesn't look a lot when it's in a bucket um, and it was already running cold. So a little bit of user error. Wrong shower head. Um, I'm sure any different shower head uh, doesn't necessarily need to be one of those stupid looking um, save the world ones. Um, anything where you can still dial dial the pressure down and achieve a decent shower, um, you'll be on for a winner. Don't go all out and uh, use all your water up too soon just by having it on full bore. There it is. Can you get yourself a decent shower using the Truma Combi 4E and the 10 litres it holds. Yes, you can. Choose yourself a decent shower head that's not just gonna empty the contents of your cylinder straight away, um, and maybe play with the volume, the pressure on off side of things um, to ensure that you don't just go all out straight away. And yeah, you can achieve a decent shower of about five minutes, which is more than enough. Uh, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all of that. I'm trying to bring videos um, that I haven't actually seen on YouTube, which is quite hard. Um, videos that I've looked for and failed to find. So please consider subscribing.